My name is Francis Sout. Hi, my name is Jan Fabik. I'm going to answer some of the most search for questions about the environment. How does damage to the ocean impact people? The ocean really controls our global climate, so the more we're impacting this really important system on our planet, we are changing the global climate. I mean, we are in an age of climate change, which everyone is by now aware of. So all these actions that we do, all the, all the impacts that we have on the ground, really add to this global issue and can impact people all over the world. Even if you don't live right uh, next to the sea, you do feel the impact, especially in the last years and decades. Um, through increasing storms, droughts, uh, floods, and this is just going to increase if we don't really implement uh, our solutions very soon. What could the ocean look like in 10 years? Definitely more plastic in there because it's going in there with an alarming rate, 1.2 billion kilos per year. Uh, so that's inimaginable how much that is. So definitely a lot more plastic in there, a lot less fish if we don't limit our consumption a bit, bit more. They say that in 2050, there could be more plastic than fish in the ocean. We probably will on our way. What are the main threats to the ocean? So unfortunately, there are a lot of threats on the, on the global ocean. The biggest issues are overfishing. We have really overexploited our, our natural fish stocks and this is uh, increasingly becoming an issue. Second thing is pollution. Pollution can have many different sources. So it can be pollution from agricultural runoff. So that's a really big issue uh, along our coastlines, causing these algal blooms that really smother, for example, kelp forests that we're trying to restore. Uh, really suffer from that and, and die off. Another issue are invasive species. Us as a global society, we are transporting a lot of organisms from one side of the earth to another. We're releasing them there unintentionally, uh, but they can really explode in populations. They can overtake an entire ecosystem and really destroy the local biodiversity. How does plastic sea waste impact sea life? A very uh, obvious answer, which is uh, they are eating it, they are getting entangled in it, and they are suffocating in it. So that's the three biggest dangers for, uh, for marine life. And then when plastics breaks down in the environment, they become microplastics. A lot of toxic chemicals attach. So when it's ingested, all those toxins get into the body as well. Uh, and that's dangerous to wildlife, but to ourselves too. Can we reverse the damage to the ocean? The oceans are a living, breathing ecosystem. So like every ecosystem, they can bounce back to a certain extent. Every ecosystem has a certain flexibility. It can grow and, and, and shrink as long as you don't damage it too much. So of course it can be reversed, but not if we take it too far. And what can people do to protect the ocean? You can start really small recycling your plastic. You choose alternatives to plastic. For example, part of the Earthshot Prize is, uh, is not like that creating plastic alternatives out of seaweeds that are biodegradable and then not polluting the ocean. Go for the new stuff that's really gonna make a big impact. And citizen science is also really important these days. Uh, easy things like, for example, for sea forests, they're really often relying on uh, divers or other people that really work and know the ocean very well to, to ask them, where are the kelp forests? Where are the issues um, that are destroying our kelp forests? And how can we actually work with coastal communities together to try and, and tackle that issue and actually bring back these really valuable and important ecosystems?